Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Miracle pressure washing in the building. Let's get it. God bless you guys, man. We up to see another day, man. If you watching this video, you blessed, man, cause we here. I mean, we're alive, we're kicking it. So we gotta be grateful, gotta be thankful, man. Thank God for allowing us to see another one, y'all. So today we got a um, vinyl fence, you guys. Um, I've been getting this question about how to do um, pricing on vinyl fences. So this is what I'm gonna do, you guys, cause it's a lot of different um, other ways to do it. Um, a lot of people may say that's wrong. A lot of people may say it's right or whatever. It don't matter to me. This is my way of doing it. It works for me. I mean, if you wanna use it, you can use it and go off with this. If not, it is what it is. You gotta have your own way of doing things out here in this business, man. Everybody is different. Everybody pricing is different. It's not gonna be the same, but I'm gonna show you guys, basically, I hope you can hear me. I got my pressure washer running out. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to do, how I do it, how I do my pricing, you guys. So basically, I charge per panel. I charge per panel, depending on the condition of the panels. Um, I already been working by the way. I done did probably half of the um, fence already. So um, I charge per panel, you guys. It depends on if it's terrible or if it's not bad. That makes the price go up. If it's bad, then the price go up. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what we got today and how, how I quoted this job, okay? So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, so you guys will see, I already done hit this, so that's why it's so clean. But um, yeah, I already hit this area right here. It's clean, clean cut, clean white. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the other side that I didn't hit, but I'm just gonna go run through everything with you real fast, how, how I get my numbers. So let's do it together, you guys. We're gonna count this together. We got one panel, two panel, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right? 21, 22, 23, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we got 40 panels, you guys, 40 panels. See on this side, this where it's bad at. So it's all the way around. They've been cutting the grass, basically. And it's terrible on the bottom. But it start getting stained. If you don't take care of it, it gets stained. And it's hard to take. A lot of these customers come out here and just water hose it down. And that don't work. It don't go anywhere. So you have to use a, 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 a treatment to break it down to make it easier. And it's kind of hard to pressure wash here because you got dirt. Dirt is going to be popping up everywhere. So a lot of people don't want to get dirty. A lot of people don't want to do this. So the top panels, you guys can see, it's not bad. It's just like this all the way around. And I already cleaned up the other first, first part of it. I just wanted to come in and give you guys a way to quote this job, a job like this. So you see the bottom, like I say, all the way down, it's from the lawnmower. So I stop right here. I stop right there. So on a job like this, the gate is not terrible. So I won't charge them. I usually do probably like from five, five dollars a panel to like ten dollars a panel. Just depends on the condition. If it's bad, I probably go closer to ten dollars a panel. Because then you gotta sit there and pressure wash each panel. You gotta baby it. And you gotta hit every area. If you don't, it's gonna show on this vinyl fence. I'm talking about it's gonna show. So like I say, I usually do like, on a fence like this, it's not that terrible. I go towards the lower end, $5, $5 a panel. 
um if the whole fence was bad then it'll be a little different so that's what we do you guys so job like this not that bad 200 to 250 you know something like that good price if the whole gate was bad all the way around we'll be looking at the 400 400 more four to five hundred you know but yeah this is my work this is what i already done did and i'm gonna give y'all a little content all the way around but this basically was just a pricing video to show you guys how to price these type of jobs so i hope it, it helps somebody man y'all stay tuned we'll be back so what we're gonna do you guys we're gonna start off by putting downstreaming some good sh you guys we're gonna downstream some good sh on it let it eat it up by the time i make it all the way around i'll come back and start i'm a turbo nozzle the bottom i'm a turbo nozzle the bottom can't be scared to get dirty when you're doing this but this is mostly the best this the best way basically to clean that bottom you guys so we're gonna downstream then we're gonna come back and turbo nozzle y'all stay tuned let's do it So I thought I was gonna have to turbo nozzle it, but I end up didn't have to. Um, I did the first half with the turbo nozzle, but this one came out pretty good. I really ain't have to turbo nozzle it. When I first looked at that bottom, it looked it terrible to me. I'm like, oh yeah, I'ma just come through with the turbo nozzle. But as you can see, it cleaned up pretty good. So I'ma just do that all the way back around, and then I'ma come back and rinse everything real good so y'all stay tuned i'll be back with the rinsing process let's go so when you're doing these type of jobs you want to make sure you got on the proper gear because you're gonna get dirtied up everywhere i mean i'm just used to doing it so i don't get dirt scattered everywhere you know but when you new to this and you're not you don't really know how to control your one that much and you don't know how to control that turbo nozzle that you're using or the, the pressure tip or whatever you're using it's going to be dirt everywhere all over your clothes everywhere especially your shoes but look y'all see what i'm wearing <laughs> come on now come on now my daughter did that man Come on now. You know what I'm talking about? I'm comfortable out here. I'm comfortable out here. <laughs> but yeah, man, you're going to have dirt like everywhere. Let me show y'all. Um, let me switch the camera around. Hold on one second, you guys. So you can see everything cleaned up nice. Remember how this was back here, you guys? Cleaned up nice. So dress appropriate because you see all this dirt down there. It's gonna pop everywhere on you. It's gonna be everywhere. So y'all can see everything clean cut. And I came to really get that bottom right for them. But you have to, of course you can't just do the bottom. So the whole fence, man, you gotta treat the whole fence, you guys. Not, don't just SH downstream the bottom. You have to do the whole vinyl fence. And then come back and just, you know, go briefly over the top but you want to focus on that bottom because that's where all the dirt and everything was so i'm gonna come right now and i'm just gonna give it a good good rinse from top to bottom all the way around and then we're gonna be out of here you guys that's it so y'all stay tuned y'all can watch a little bit i'm about to um like i said i'm gonna rinse give it a good rinse top to bottom and then i do a walk around with you guys and let you see the final of everything all right let's do it
and that's what I do all the way around, rinse it, and I'll be back to show you guys the final walkthrough, you guys. I'm going to rinse all the way around, and I'll be back to show you guys the final walkthrough. All right, we all done. All done, you guys. Got hot out here, boy. The sun came out. But let me show y'all what we got. Show y'all how everything came out. Yeah, let me flip the camera around. Look how clean this is. Clean cut white. Mm -hmm. Ain't shiny. Vinyl shiny. That's what I'm talking about. Everything clean cut all the way around. All them bottoms. All them bottoms all the way around. Like I say, you guys, it all depends on the condition of the vinyl. If it has a bunch of algae mold thick, you're going to need a stronger mix. This was just basically from the lawn service. So I just needed the, the downstream to loosen up everything and come back and pressure wash it. So we didn't really soft wash this. We got kind of did a, a light pressure wash on this because all that grass and all that stuff was um, thick on the bottom area of the vinyl. So y'all can see everything came out nice, man. And that wraps up the video you guys so i hope it helped i hope it helped you guys with your pricing and also how to do a vinyl fence you have to downstream it if it's not bad basically that downstream gonna loosen everything up and you just come back around and you just give it a good hard rinse and it should clean up good for you if um the algae mold or whatever is on the fence is a little thicker then you're going to have to go with a stronger mix, you guys. But that's it, man. Y'all stay tuned for the next video that I got coming out before maybe I post it Sunday. Um, Sunday or Monday. Trying to just keep this content coming at you guys. Try to keep you posted with some videos. Hey, man, y'all like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and you're just watching the channel, subscribe, man. Hit that button, man. And God bless y'all. God bless everybody that's on this channel, man. Y'all take it easy out there in the world, man. And remember, put God first in your situation. No matter what it is, he can change it. He can change it within a, a split second, man. Your situation can change. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed and keep God first. God over everything. Let's go. Alright, so we out here to do an estimate. It's a vinyl fence on a bike track. Um I got my baby with me. I'ma walk it and see how far it is. And then I'm gonna give him an estimate, man. I think it's supposed to be three bids. Y'all know how that is, so we'll see. See how this go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my square footage and put my bid in, man. And we're gonna see how it work out. This is where it starts at right here. And it's a long walk, you guys. So you see how that green is? So this is gonna take a lot of SH. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Still going, man. Still going. I thought it was over with back there when I turned. But no, sir. I had to come park right there and come back and start walking. It's a real deal now. So on those commercial projects like that, um, we basically measure it. Um, we don't do it like residential, residential, we do it per panel. But on projects like that, we measure it and then we do the times, however times we're um, charging for the square footage. So it's a little bit different on the pricing with the commercial. So yeah, we put a bid in on that one and we'll see how it go, man. Y'all stay blessed. God bless y'all. We out.